You may know about the rubber duck method, but did you know ducks are for more than just debugging? They're also good for dependency management. Duck typing comes from the saying that if something walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it must be a duck. This means that we can call any function we like as long as we know its name. In C Sharp, you need to have a particular type associated that ensures that the function name exists, otherwise you will get an error. For a GD script, custom classes are not really necessary. You could make a full and complete game without really even knowing what classes are. But in order to do this, you would need to know what duck typing is and how to use it well. This is actually one of my reasons for choosing C Sharp for my development over GDScript. With duck typing, you will not get an error or even a warning if you misspell the name of the function. It is a look before you leap style, so it will just skip calling it if the function is not found by the name specified. In the same situation with C Sharp, it will fail to compile and even show you where the mistake was made. This does not mean that C Sharp is always better than GDScript. C Sharp is so much more verbose and it can take a lot of time to compile the project as it grows. GDScript isn't compiled and is much faster to write, so it is very beneficial to use for various projects. For a brief review, duck typing lets us check if a function exists and call it by a name if it does, which means we don't need to guarantee a type association to call functions. This can make development easier and faster by skipping over some common dependency problems, but it also creates problems if the function name is ever changed because no warning or error will be produced. Do you like duck typing or would you rather use C Sharp to avoid it and why? Let me know in the comments. And thanks to all my supporters on Ko-fi. I hope you enjoyed this video.